A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Watch TV. 2. Play mobile games. 3. Play video games. 4. Play computer games. 5. Play outside. 6. Play sports. 1. Watch TV. 2. Play mobile games. 3. Play video games. 4. Play computer games. 5. Play outside. 6. Play sports. B. 1. Listen and read. It's a beautiful Sunday. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't play mobile games all the time. Ugh, Mom. Oh, boys, you should play outside. It's a beautiful day. Uh, okay, Mom. Ben, you shouldn't watch TV all the time. But it's my favorite TV show. <sighs> Sam! Sam! You should play sports. Take the kids to the sports club. Okay, let's go, kids. <laughs> B. 2. Listen and circle. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. 1. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't play mobile games all the time. Ugh, Mom. Can you see the circle? This is an example. Now listen and circle. Two. Oh, boys, you should play outside. It's a beautiful day. Uh, okay, Mom. Three. Ben, you shouldn't watch TV all the time. But it's my favorite TV show. <sighs> Four. Sam! Sam! You should play sports. Take the kids to the sports club. Okay, let's go, kids. B. 3. Practice the structure. You should play outside. You shouldn't play video games. Pronunciation tip. C. Listen. Sing along. You should play outside. You should play outside. You shouldn't watch TV. You shouldn't watch TV. You should play sports. You should play sports. You shouldn't play mobile games. You shouldn't play mobile games. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play computer games. You shouldn't play computer games. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, should not sounds like shouldn't. Listen. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play video games. Now listen again and say. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play video games. You shouldn't play video games.
A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Play baseball. 2. Play table tennis. 3. Play tennis. 4. Go bowling. 1. Play baseball. 2. Play table tennis. 3. Play tennis. 4. Go bowling. B. 1. Listen and read. The kids enjoy playing at the sports club. Hey! It's Jane, Mai, and Charlie. Okay, kids. Find something to play. What are you going to do, Lucy? I'm going to play badminton with Jane. Ben, what are you going to do? I'm going to play table tennis with Mai. What are you going to do, Charlie? I'm going to go bowling with Alfie. What about you, Tom? What are you going to do? I'm going to play basketball with you, Daddy. Great! Yay! <sighs> I should talk to the trainer. <sighs> B. 2. Listen and tick the box. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. 1. Hey! It's Jane, Mai, and Charlie. Okay, kids. Find something to play. What are you going to do, Lucy? I'm going to play badminton with Jane. Can you see the tick? This is an example. Now listen and tick the box. Two. Ben, what are you going to do? I'm going to play table tennis with Mai. Three. What are you going to do, Charlie? I'm going to go bowling with Alfie. Four. What about you, Tom? What are you going to do? I'm going to play basketball with you, Daddy. Great! Yay! <sighs> I should talk to the trainer. B. 3. Practice the structure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go bowling with Jane. C. Listen. Sing along. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to play baseball with Charlie. I'm going to play baseball with Charlie. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to play table tennis with Tom. I'm going to play table tennis with Tom. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to play tennis with Nick. I'm going to play tennis with Nick. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to go bowling with Lucy. I'm going to go bowling with Lucy. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, I'm going to sounds like I'm gonna. Listen. I'm going to play baseball. I'm going to play baseball. I'm going to play baseball. Now listen again and say. I'm going to play baseball. I'm going to play baseball. I'm going to play baseball. A. Listen, point, and say. 1. Always. 2. Usually. 
3. Sometimes. 4. Rarely. 5. Never. 1. Always. 2. Usually. 3. Sometimes. 4. Rarely. 5. Never. B. 1. Listen and read. Sam talks about what he does for fitness. Yay! Let's go to the pool! Welcome to the Greenwood Sports Center. First, some questions. Are you healthy, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Okay. How often do you play tennis? Um, I rarely play tennis. And how often do you eat fruit, Mr. Brown? Oh, I... well, I sometimes eat fruit. Sometimes? Okay. And pizza? How often do you eat pizza? Well, I usually eat pizza. Last one. How often do you go running? Um... I never go running. Try running in the park later, Mr. Brown. Okay. Later that day... Come on, Mr. Brown. You can do it, Dad! Ah! Oh, no! B. 2. Listen and draw lines. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. 1. Welcome to the Greenwood Sports Center. First, some questions. Are you healthy, Mr. Brown? Yes, I am. Okay. How often do you play tennis? Um, I rarely play tennis. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now listen and draw lines. Two. And how often do you eat fruit, Mr. Brown? Oh, I... Well, I sometimes eat fruit. Sometimes? Okay. Three. And pizza? How often do you eat pizza? Well, I usually eat pizza. Four. Last one. How often do you go running? Um... I never go running. Try running in the park later, Mr. Brown. Okay. Later that day... Come on, Mr. Brown! You can do it, Dad! Ah! Oh, no! Yeah! B. 3. Practice the structure. How often do you play tennis? I sometimes play tennis after school. C. Listen. Sing along. How often do you eat fruit? How often do you eat fruit? I always eat fruit after lunch. I always eat fruit after lunch. How often do you eat vegetables? How often do you eat vegetables? I usually eat vegetables for dinner. I usually eat vegetables for dinner. How often do you play badminton? How often do you play badminton? I sometimes play badminton after school. I sometimes play badminton after school. How often do you play computer games? How often do you play computer games? I rarely play computer games. I rarely play computer games. How often do you play volleyball? How often do you play volleyball? I never play volleyball. I never play volleyball.
Pronunciation tip. In natural English, do you sounds like do you listen. How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? Now listen again and say. How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis? A. Listen, point, and say. One, ankle. Two, back. Three, shoulder. Four, neck. Five, elbow. One, ankle. Two, back. Three, shoulder. Four, neck. Five, elbow. B, one. Listen and read. And find Sam in the hospital. What happened? First, I jumped and hurt my ankle. Just your ankle? Look at you. Then what happened? Then he hit a tree and hurt his elbow. Oh, Sam. And then what happened? Then a coconut fell and hurt his neck. Yeah, that hurt. <sighs> Is that all? Then what happened? Finally, he fell in the mud and hurt his back. Wow. What about you, kids? Are you okay? Yeah, mom. The sports club was great. Yeah, yeah sports club. B, two, listen and number. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. One. Oh, Sam! What happened? First, I jumped and hurt my ankle. Can you see number one? This is an example. Now listen, and number two. Just your ankle? Look at you. Then what happened? Then he hit a tree and hurt his elbow. Oh, Sam. Three. And then what happened? Then a coconut fell and hurt his neck. Yeah, that hurt. <sighs> Four. Is that all? Then what happened? Finally, he fell in the mud and hurt his back. Wow. What about you, kids? Are you okay? Yeah, mom. The sports club was great. Yeah, sports club. <coughs> yeah. B. Three. Practice the structure. What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. C. Listen. Sing along. What happened? What happened? I jumped and hurt my ankle. I jumped and hurt my ankle. What happened? What happened? I played badminton and hurt my back. I played badminton and hurt my back. What happened? What happened? I 
I played tennis and hurt my shoulder. I played tennis and hurt my shoulder. What happened? What happened? I played basketball and hurt my neck. I played basketball and hurt my neck. What happened? What happened? I fell and hurt my elbow. I fell and hurt my elbow. Pronunciation tip. In natural English, and sounds like m.、Mm. Listen. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. Now listen again and say. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. He jumped and hurt his ankle. New words. Listen, point, and say. One, hit. Two, kick. Three, move. Four, fast. Five, hard. Six, well. One, hit. Two, kick. Three, move. Four, fast. Five, hard. Six, well. Listening, listen and circle true or false. Listen to someone talking about Vovinam. Look at the pictures. Listen. There is one example. One. Vovinam is a Vietnamese type of martial art. Two people have to try to hit each other. Can you see the circle? This is an example. Now listen and circle. Two. You have to move very fast so that the other person can't hit you. Three. You have to try and kick each other very hard. Four. To do well at Vovinam, you have to practice a lot. Useful language. You have to kick a ball hard. You have to run fast. To play soccer well, you have to practice a lot. Listening, listen and write. Look at the form. Listen. There is one example. What's your name, please? My name's Bill Smith. Smith, S M I T H. That's right. Can you see the answer? This is an example. Now listen and write.
One. And how old are you, Bill? I'm eleven. Pardon? I'm eleven years old. Two. Have you hurt yourself? Yes, I have. What's the matter? I hurt my arm. Ouch. Three. What else? And I hurt my back. Your back? Yes, that's right. I hurt them both. Four. How did you hurt your arm and your back? When I played basketball, I jumped and fell on the ground. Playing basketball? Oh dear. Now listen again. Song. Listen. Sing along. What are you going to do after school? After school, I'm going to watch TV with my friends. After school, you shouldn't watch TV. What are you going to do after work? After work, I'm going to play baseball with my son. After work, I usually play baseball with my son, but when it rains, that's not fun. So sometimes we watch TV. What are you going to do on Sunday? On Sunday, you should go bowling.